attention of the, of the assembly committee. EFF delegates shall, do, shall not do the following. A, no one shall be allowed to bring weapons at the premises of the Provincial People's Assembly. No one is permitted to bring or drink alcohol at the premises of the Provincial People's Assembly. No alcohol will be, all alcohol will be confiscated and not returned to the owner. No one is permitted to enter the assembly premises under the influence of smelling of alcohol or other intoxicating substances. No one has permission to resort to violent acts of any kind in the premises of the assembly. No one shall within the premises of the assembly act in a manner that exposes others to harm or death. No one shall within the premises of the assembly act in a manner that, has provo that, have, that provokes tension. No one shall act in a manner that undermines the procession of the assembly. No one shall within the premises of the assembly take off clothes to demonstrate anger or happiness of any kind whatsoever, or bring banners, posters, or placards in support or against any candidate. No one shall within the premises of the assembly behave in a rowdy or aggressive manner. No one shall, no one within the premises of the assembly shall behave in an abusive or disrespectful manner towards other delegates. No cars shall bear or display any posters or materials in support or against any fighter. No t-shirt or poster displaying support or any fight against uh, will be allowed in the Provincial People's Assembly. No one without assembly accreditation tag will be allowed in the premises of the Provincial People's Assembly. No delegate will be allowed to speak to the media about any issue in the assembly without the, author the authorization of the assembly committee. No cell phones shall be on during the proceedings of the assembly plenary session and commissions. No delegate will be allowed to sleep during the proceedings of the assembly plenary and commissions. Rules of lobbying. All political organiza and organizational preparations of the EFF Provincial People's Assemblies are regulated by the constitution of the EFF as well as the guidelines adopted by the relevant constitutional structures. The, the process seeks to ensure that all relevant structures, particularly branches, are able to engage extensively in shaping the policy decisions and political outcomes of any assembly in accordance to the mass and democratic character of our movement. The following should constitute wrongful lobbying practices and are unacceptable ways of influencing the election process. <coughs> Singing of songs about preferred candidates is strictly prohibited. Writing boards, t-shirts, or any form of indication with names and candidates is strictly prohibited. Making waving sounds in, in, uh, about candidates supported or not supported by the delegates is strictly prohibited. Raising and using funds or other resources to campaign for election. Distributing money to EFF members and structures as part of campaigning for election. <laughs> Production of t-shirts, posters, and other paraphernalia to promote a particular list of candidates. Promoting positions or other incentives or threatening to withhold such as a, main, as a means of gaining support. Using media to promote a particular list of candidates and spread malicious rumors, falsehoods, and allegations against those of whom you disagree. Leaking of confidential information to the media, secret interactions with journalists with intention to get them to write stories on, on internal organizational issues and cost or communicating internal decisions or processes to the media without due authorization. Negative campaigning, which relates to attacks on the integrity of other figures both within the structures of the movement or in other forums. Suppressing honest and legitimate debate about the caliber of, candid of candidates in formal meetings of the movement. Manipulating membership figures or engaging in fraudulent membership recruitment practices. Allowing structures or individuals to condone violation of, of constitutional provisions and or regulations and or failing to report such violations when they occur. Using the officers, resources, and staff of the EFF to enable or any state instru instru institutions or company as a machinery to promote a particular list of candidates. Using violence, intimidation, and threats to coerce those who hold a different view. Setting up structures outside the organization to promote or lobby for a particular candidate. Convening meetings to discuss leadership issues under the false pretense 
that they are organized and they are organized constitutional structures. Production and distribution of documents and pamphlets not, not approved by the structures of the organization will not be allowed. In line with these rules, all members without exception must abide by the constitution of the EFF. The rules and regulations and revolutionary code of discipline as adopted or amended from time to time, as well as all policies and decisions properly adopted and made in terms of the constitution. Accordingly, all EFF structures and members should ensure that these guidelines, rules, and procedures are adhered to and enforced in the run-up to and on the Provincial People's Assemblies. In particular, any lobbying that violates the EFF constitution and brings the good name, image, and integrity of the EFF into disrepute will be subject to disciplinary inquiry in line with the constitution and code of conduct. Lastly, lobbying shall stop once the process of election of electing the new provincial command team has been concluded at the Provincial People's Assembly. Once the new provincial command team is elected, it becomes the duty of all EFF members to unite and rally behind the newly elected leadership, regardless of the preferences we had before the elections. Amanda. Amanda, thank you very much, uh, Commissar Yul. Uh, those are directives, uh, fellow fighters, leadership, and commissars. We are not going to engage in any discussions. At this uh, moment, I will request the Provincial Student Command uh, to lead us in a revolutionary song as we invite Deputy Secretary General of the Economic Freedom Fighter Student Command to come and give us a message of support. Amanda. command so that it welcomes its leadership. So let's support it to welcome its leadership. Who happens to be also our leadership? Amanda. Led by 
Commissar Mandisa Makesi, who is the only provincial chairperson in the EFF. I'd also like to greet. and the PSCT leadership of the AFFSC uh, in attendance, and all the delegates in attendance. Uh, my name is Kanya Pungani, the, uh, the Deputy Secretary General of the EFF Students Command. Um, well, mine is short and simple, it is just to give a message of support from, on behalf of the EFF Students Command. Firstly, as the student command, we'd like to thank the outgoing provincial leadership for their dedication and commitment in growing the EFF in the free state. And for their support, for the support they gave us uh, as the student command, doing their level best in assisting us during the Sofundangikan campaigns, uh, to getting us lawyers when we got arrested and suspended. Thank you very much, uh, leadership. We will forever remain grateful for the support and care shown us. We are hopeful that we will continue to work for the EFF in growing the organization as we have an appointment with the future. As the student command, we are the voice of young people in higher education institutions and communities mm -hmm. in the free state and across the country. As there is no alternative political solution, it is for this reason that we believe and call on all delegates to ensure that there are young people that are elected into the PCT, to ensure that there is a generational mix and that issues of young people within our, community, within our communities mm -hmm. and the province are attended to by young people who can relate. In the, in the fourth national student assembly of the EFF Students Command, we resolve that for one to be a member of the EFF Students Command, they must be a member of the EFF and register to vote with the Independent Electoral Commission of South Africa. Uh, this reaffirms the EFF's theme that indeed student wars, student wars are community wars. So as we have been winning SRC elections all over campuses uh, across the country, we have a responsibility as the student command to convert our SRC victories into the uh, electoral victory of the EFF. Uh, in closing, I would like to suggest that we must come out of this assembly alive and united. We must be ready to dispatch leaders who are cap capacitated and ground forces who will be able to articulate the aims and the ob objectives of the organizations and who will be able to speak reasons as to why people must vote for the EFF as it, is, as it remains the only hope for Africans. Thank you very much. Amanda, thank you very much, uh, DSG. Uh, but as you look at your program, we are at a critical and important uh, moment, whereby I will call uh, Commissar Piwawa uh, to come and present to us that item, item number seven. So with a revolutionary, revolutionary song, we will call uh, Commissar Piwawa to come and do that important task for us. Amanda. I
I could ever I could I could ever if we stayed I could thank you very much deputy chairperson uh fighters uh leadership of the province and the CCT my task here is very quick and fast um and it is to introduce to you fighters our the person who will be giving our keynote address rather the official who will be doing that um, it's a rather very simple task to be honest because the one thing about the EFF is that the kind of leadership and the caliber of leadership that we have is such that when you are told or you are asked to come and introduce our leadership you do so with pride and confidence because our Kawan um, I stand before you fighters because you know that as the members of the EFF and leadership of the EFF who are led by an organization or by leadership that is young and dynamic, but at the same time, they are very old and wise and mature. Fighters, I come for you to introduce the fact that Nyayazwa, Imoto, especially those that have grown up in the rural areas and townships, even if I'm not staring with, even if it does not have doors, but there is no car that can move without the engine. I stand before you here today to introduce to you the engine of the organization the chief administrator of the Economic Freedom Fighters, the biggest and the most radical organization in the African country. I introduce you to the Palatine of the EFF, Kondusa Masha Itali. Amanda! Chief Long Lee. Don't leave the commander in Chief Long Lee. Don't leave the commander in Chief Long Lee. Pina fighter Pina. Viva EFF Viva. Viva EFF Viva. I told me fighter, I told me. I told me fighter, I told me. I told me fighter, I told me. Kula EFF Free State Kula 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 Amanda Thank you very much Commissar Piwa Wamadokwe Convener of Deployees here in the Free State Province, uh, we greet the other commissars as well. Uh, let's take this opportunity and greet the leadership of the province, led by the Chairperson, Commissar Mandi Samakisin. Let's greet all the leadership of the region that are here with us, led by the original Chairperson. Let us create the student command that is amongst us, led by their TSG. And then finally, let us take this opportunity to welcome you and greet you, the reliable ground forces of the EFF in Free State. Because you are the real engine of this organization here in Free State. We have demonstrated that 
since 2013, when the first conference of the EFF, when this organization came here to start building the structures, when you responded to the clarion call, in 2013, some of you, you went to Soweto, which is not your on what is to be done about this country. We are very happy that some of you are still here. It shows that you knew Uguchi, why you responded to the clarion call. It was not about yourselves, but it was about the forgotten people of Free State. Yeah. We are happy to see Chepes in the faces. I was saying to the Chepesin, I'm happy to see the faces that have been here for the longest time, but some of them, they must know that they cannot sing like Faitam Kahane. They must know that he cannot sing, but he can do other things. But we're very happy to see you fighters and to be amongst you on this uh, important meeting of the EFF. This is the assembly of the EFF that the Central Command Team with the powers given to it, that it said that we must come and convene on this weekend. And we have received reports from yesterday in the way you conducted yourselves, that when the directive from the leadership said, you must leave your homes early so that you can come and register and then we can start the conference in time, you responded to that call. I must say to you, out of all conferences, you are one of the conferences that met the deadline in terms of registration time. <laughs> so the delays that led us to officially start today, they are not of your doing. We had delayed with our service providers who could not get what we are asking them to do. But it's a nature of a revolution we keep building. But we have demonstrated that and you as things stand now, we don't have any report of misbehavior or some tendency that is foreign to the revolution. So we want to say to you, we must continue conducting ourselves in that order, in that fashion. The president and the commander-in-chief is going to be here tomorrow, 4 o'clock exactly, to come and give us some command there on how we're going to take over this province come 2024. <laughs> so we're saying this so that you know that Umsebez Uedu that you're coming here to do, it's not about personalities. It's about the EFF. Yes. Umsebez that you are coming here to do as delegates, it's about the mandate of the branches. Yeah. Umsebez that you came here to do it's about the mandate of the communities where we come from. Where here in Mangao, the SOA is running 365 a, a day, it's just part of what we do on a daily basis. When you go to town, you know that you're going to meet the SOA just running up and down. You are here to represent those communities. The ones that are in Paris and everywhere else in Velcom and Kwakwa and everywhere else here in Free State that are still subjected to exploitation and paid low wages in the farms, we are here to represent those people. Because every time they see this organization congregate coming together, they always have hope, Ukuti, tomorrow it's going to be better. So it can't be that when we come here and then we forget about those people. So that in our deliberations this weekend, we must know that we're going to resolve that how are we going to deal with the issues that confront our people here in Free State. We are one of the provinces, when we talk of infrastructure, there are no roads in Free State. There is no water in Free State. There is no electricity in Free State. They have stolen everything that belongs to the majority of our people, the people of the ANC in Free State. And we are the only hope here in Free State. That's why the ANC has collapsed. And these people, when they see you coming here, they've got that hope that you are coming here to deal and deliberate on how are we going to resolve their issues. 
And that should be the spirit of this conference. We must participate in commissions so that we can come with clear resolutions on what we seek to achieve in the next four years with the election of the leadership that we are going to elect. It must never be about personalities. It must be about the EFF. Yes. It must never be a matter of life and death. It must be about the EFF. Because we must remind each other as we meet here today to say, what is the EFF? What did we resolve in 2013? What did we give a definition of this organization? So that as you move as a fighter, as a leader, as a ground force, at all material times you are grounded on the founding manifesto of this organization, what is the EFF? an anti-imperialist organization, anti-racist organization, an organization that brings together militant and radical fearless fighters, an organization that brings together lobby groups, an organization that, give, that brings together community groups, that, gives, uh, that brings together community organization, lobby groups, grassroots formations, a protest movement. That's who we are, a protest movement, a vanguard of our own communities, meaning that in our communities, they must never feel that they don't have a line of defense when they are fighters in those wars. We must remind each other and take stock as we meet here, Chairperson, to say four years we meet here again because leadership, we must come back and account. And we are very happy that we are here as a PCT to come and give back a report. Because leadership is about taking responsibility and coming back and giving a report. You can't be a leader that does not give a report. If you don't give a report as a leader, you must know that you are a chance taker. If you are a leader that is scared of going back to the same delegates to come and account, then you must know that there is no difference between you and those that have sold this country out. Because the conflict between us and those that have sold this country out, it started by asking for a report. Because when they mobilized our parents and everyone else since 1912, and they said to us, our oppressor is a white man, he has taken our land here in Free State. He has taken our mineral resources. He has taken the economy. We live in poverty. We live like pigs. We, we live in squatter camps because the white man has committed genocide, has brutalized and killed our parents and our forefathers, and they've taken everything that belongs to us. There was no confusion about that. But after 78 years, when they were told that they were called in Pretoria to be given new titles, that now they are ministers and presidents and councillors and premiers. When our people, they ask for a report back, instead of coming back and give a report to say, what happened to the white man? Has he brought our land back? Do we have our minds back? Are we in charge of the economy? Are we participating in the economy of this country? Because they went to dine and drank alcohol with the, with the enemy, they came back and then they said to us, no, leave that one. The enemy now with poverty, unemployment, and inequality. We said, no, those ones we know, we grew up like that. We knew why we were poor. We know why we were poor. Because our land has not been returned to us. The struggle, the revolution in the African continent, here in this territory of South Africa, it was about the land. Until that question has been responded to, we must never shake and we must never listen to any statement or any song or any speech that is going to say to us, let us forget about the land. Because we know our forefathers, why they started the revolution in this country. It was about the land. Until the land has been restored, there is no other discussion in South Africa. Even in our own communities, where we stay, we can't have any other discussion until we resolve the issues of land. We need to go back to the basics. So we need, as we are building this organization in our communities, to go back to this checklist 
and as a fighter, as a brand chairperson, secretary, BCT, when you sit members of a brand, before you can sit and start talking about names and gossip amongst each other and insult each other, you must go back and say, chairperson, secretary, can you give us that box we want to tick and check that does this branch of ours comply with the founding manifest of the EF? Does it comply with the founding manifest of the EF? Do we sit in a branch meeting and say we are a constitutionally constituted branch of the EFF? Does it talk to what the EFF is about? Does in our branch, do we have lobby groups? Do we have churches as part of our, our branch? Do we have a community organizations as part of our branch or it's just individuals who are coming here in the EFF, coming as individuals, you don't need any sector of any community. You stand and say, why well, branch, all of us seated here, hundreds of us, we don't belong to any sector in our community. There is a community of farm workers, none of us belongs in that community of farm workers where they are organized and fighting the struggle of farm workers. Why are we not part? Because that's what the EFF says we must do. There is a community of people of Akalem, John Dolo, that organize themselves because they are fighting their struggle on the issues of housing. Do we have some of our leaders represented there? Do we belong to all the structures in our own communities? Do even the members of this community know about us? So we need to go back to the basics. When we have these meetings, these are meetings of the EFF. So all of us, as one year, 629 delegates, as the Deputy Secretary has said, so it means all of us are going to speak. No one is going to leave this meeting without speaking. And we've got a way of tracking you. So if tomorrow in the afternoon, and you have not spoken, the other delegates will go with remaining together because we want you to speak. Because we are sent here to speak so that we can build this organization. We want to hear your views. We want to hear your contributions on how to build this organization. We don't want you to only speak when we are talking about names. The time of names is going to come here in the program. But can we speak about building this organization? Can we speak on how do we make sure that come 2024, the people of this province, They've got an organization that is going to truly represent their aspirations. The young people of this province who don't have access to quality education, the young people in this province who in the rural schools, they still go to the push to relieve themselves because there are no proper toilets in those schools. Can they rely on us and say, when we see them, they represent our aspirations? The young people here in this province who continue to die on the road where Shaiswa is born because the money for scholar transport has been stolen by the LNC government and our young children, they must walk kilometers so that they can get the education that they were promised for. Are we going to deal with those issues to say, what are the issues of the scholar transport here in Fristi? Because it has collapsed. Today, we are in a country where crime is just part of what we do. We don't even get shot. But how do we make sure that from this conference we take those resolutions that we're going to make sure that at least our young children, they are safe? Are we going to speak about those who have passed matric in free state? That their only hope now is to go and work for pet stores or rhino or checkers or work in a farm or anywhere else, even when they've got aspirations of furthering their education to go to institutions of higher learning, but they could not do it because they don't have access to money. Because here in South Africa, education is for sale. Those that don't have money, those that their parents cannot afford, they are excluded in the institutions of higher learning. I'm going to speak about them. Those are people that we must represent. Those are the people that we need to talk and say, how do we resolve the issues of unemployment? How do we resolve the issues of women here in the province of Fristing? We need to go back 
to the basics and ask ourselves what does our organization say so that we can be an organization that is going to shape. Because if we don't go back to the founding manifesto of the EFF, the Constitution, we're going to be a shapeless organization. What does our Constitution say about the leadership of the EFF? The Constitution of the, e the organization, when it talks about leadership, it says all EFF leaders are elected democratically and transparently. Are you, as you are seated here, as brand chairpersons, and secretaries and delegates and your PCT were you elected democratically and transparently? Oh, I mean, we were elected so. So, if we say, I will be stop. Because we have to build this organization. Because if we don't go according to the constitution of this organization, we're going to be a shapeless organization. Our leaders, it means. They must make sure that everything else they do, they do as per the founding manifesto of the organization that says collective leadership. It means leaders at all times, they must consult the collective before engaging on activities and programs that have organizational consequences and they must not act as individuals. Do we see it as a BCT? Do we still see those BCT meetings? Because the constitution of the EFF it says the BCT, the branch command team, must meet every fortnight. Do you meet every fortnight or you only meet as a branch when you are about to elect delegates to go to an RPA or a PPA or an NPA, but you have never met as a BCT, as what the constitution is saying. Are we compliant? Are we the branches of the EFF? Because if we don't pay attention to those details, we're going to be a shapeless organization. It's an amuba. You don't know who can a legal happy, where is the back, where is the front, because they've become a shapeless organization. And it's very easy even for us to become a shapeless organization if we don't pay attention to detail, if we don't become disciplined and be rooted in the founding documents of this organization that says, who are we as an organization? We are an organization that part of the principles of the EFF is that we subscribe to a principle of democratic centralism. A principle of democratic centralism that firstly there must be a democratic consultation. Once democratic consultation has happened, a decision is taken. Once that decision is taken, a decision of the majority binds the minority. A decision of the higher structure binds the lower structure. Are we still that organization here in Free State? Or oh, when the CCT and the PCT, they come to Tabo Mufutanyana and tell you to say, this is the direction of how we're going to behave and present ourselves in this council today as the leadership of Tabo Mufutanyana, we say we are the region ourselves, you can't tell us. What happened to democratic centralism? What happened to democratic centralism? Which leadership and which organization are you working for? We need to have honest conversations. That's what we are here for. That's why I said all of you are going to speak. Because if you don't speak in this meeting, you're going to speak on, on WhatsApp and Facebook, it means you are ill-disciplined. Because we must speak here and speak the truth so that we can build each other as an organization. And say, fellow fighter, look like we've been singing for the longest time. We've forgotten who we are. This four years allows us that opportunity that let us all calm down. Let us take the noise outside. Let's calm down as revolutionaries and say, what does this organization that all of us, we said we subscribe to its constitution, what does it say? So that when you take that decision, at all times you must ask, am I still in line with what the EFF represents? Are we complying to the mandate? Are we accounting? Are we giving reports as regions, as provinces, as PCT deployees? Do we still go to the regions where we are deployed? Or the last time they heard about us 
it was 2018 when we were elected as PCT. We have never been to regions to go and look after those branches to make sure that we do the work that is done. It's here, it's in the found manifest of the EFF that all leaders, they must make sure that they follow the mandates of the organization. The mandate of the organization is that we are a provincial leader. So you are deployed in the entire province of Free State. When you are saying you are deployed in the entire province of the Free State, we are not saying you are a supervisor who just arrives at, a PC, at an RCT office and make a new turn. That's supervision. We are talking of ground forces who are working when you are deployed in a, some, in a region. Then Kharib, you go to Kharib, you work with those branches, you understand why is that region structured. Go and working with the branches and listening to branches. Because we don't want supervisors, we want leaders. Leaders who go to the ground and work with the branches. Not leaders who sit and supervisors and bosses. So that the all they can do is to criticize us as branches. One leader who come to us and work with us. When we are in front, our leaders must be with us in branches and say, so no banner we branch. The minutes are not done this way. Regional secretaries, have you ever seen minutes coming from branch secretaries? You start a term, you finish a term, you're a regional secretary, you have never seen minutes coming from branches that are supposed to be sitting every fortnight. Which regional secretary are you and who are you representing? Then it's very easy to stand and say, no, our branches, you know our branches are dysfunctional. Have you gone there? Does this fighter who just got, recently got elected for the first time in his life or her life as a brain secretary, have you went there just to sit with this fighter and say, fight, Nama was inducted, this is how you write minutes. This is how you write an agenda. There's opening and welcome. This is how we write an agenda. Have we done that? Because it must not be easy for leaders of higher structures to just point fingers. We must go there and make sure we build these branches. And that is what is expected of us. That is why if you are an RCT leader or a PCT leader, and then when we ask you about your deployment, you tell us about a town. Where are you deployed in Velko? No, can you give us what? So that we can go to these words and ask them that if we seen this person. Tomorrow when they say they don't know you, and then you get shocked. <laughs> we need to go back to the basics, fighters. This province, it's up for the taking. There is no excuse, and I'm going to come to your commissions because I want to understand why are we still getting defeated by DA in this province? There is no excuse. We need to go back to our branches. We need to go back to our communities. We need to go back and be disciplined and build the EFF and make sure that this is the EFF that the founding manifesto of the EFF says it should be. It must not be an employment agent in this organization. Must not, be, must not be an organization that its branches only exist because you know that now we're going to a conference. If I lose this conference, I'm not going to be a counselor. So that's the only time you get at you. are turning our organization into an employment agency. This is a vanguard movement. It's a protest movement. When it says a protest movement, it means exactly that. Have you ever been into a protest as a leader of the EFF that you are leading a protest movement? Which protest have you ever attended? Because you like taking pictures, right? You must go to your archives, all of you, and check on your Facebook because you post pictures like you are in Bola magazine. Go back and just check that is there a picture of me found in a protest? as someone who's part of a protest movement. Are you that reliable fighter in the community 
Do they know you, our counselors? Are we known in our communities that we are counselors of the EFF? Do we need protests? Oh, we have been, we have assimilated and we have, part of, we have become part of the system. Because some of our counselors, some of you here, you are part of a protest movement, an organization that makes no apology about the issues of land. But when we put you there in council, you are the one who come and tell us about motions when you are saying, we are occupying this piece of land. You come and tell us that no weight fighters is a motion because we have sold out inside there. When did we say go to the council and talk about motions? Because we said, go there and tell us that we demand land and we demand this land today. Today you are telling us about motions. No, there's going to be a meeting, fighters who can't occupy them. You are telling us about illegality. You know, fighters, this one is illegal. Uh, when we were together here, we were not a cancer. We, all of us, we agreed that this is a nice piece of land. And we've been waiting, we want to build our houses. We are tired of squatting and sleeping next to our parents. We are a younger generation. There's land here. Now some of us, we even got jobs. But we're not going to go and pay a white man on a land that is stolen. We need sites so that we can build our own houses here. And then you tell us that, no, it's illegal. I'm very glad about the fighters of Fezilidami. There's a township there that is owned by us. They must be, oh, they must be like that throughout the whole project. Because they have done it. Because they did not say now, they did not say as the leaders, no, 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 the motion. We send you to represent us, not to read motions. They called there through a buffet. Now things have changed. Even the way you speak, they even say to you, when the organization is under attack in free state, when they're calling our leaders' names, they're insulting the organization, you keep quiet because they're courted. Now you are Mrs. Wright and Miss Wright, and they even say to you, ah, you see, when you are, you are better than that president of theirs. You see, when you are a good leader in the community, you even walk wearing a suit, you don't know that you are selling out. Because now you are misright. This is how you see. When are you even educated? Leave those ones. They are not like you. They are not like you. Because we are already engaged on a different agenda. We need to go back to the basics. That should be what brings us together here. To say, the way you are walking, you are not to walk a Congo. I have to walk a fight to a ball. The walk a Congo, I say a ball. But the walk le. I'm the only walking fighter. Because the walking fight must it is your title on Shabek Sain. So I'm going to say that Sain. The walker come along and say, it's your title on Shabek Sain. I feel more fine. I feel more pain to see. I'm going to be a good one. I'm going to be a good one. Yeah, and I'm safe at home. We must be those leaders. Community leaders. Lead in our own communities. Not to hijack community protests. When we say, we are a vanguard movement, a protest organization. It doesn't mean we must go and hijack community protests. Because some of you, you hide in your communities. They don't know that you are counselors every time now. Where's that you are a counselor? You've got money to buy now the area. The only time you get involved in a community protest is to hijack it through a loud area. When the community has already closed the road, when the community has already said, no one is going to pass, us, pass here until we've been given water. Then you are a counselor of the EFF. Even when we call you to say, why are roads closed in Mangaun? You say, I am not sure what's happening. <laughs> and then later you arrive with a, with a loud hailer. Because our communities are poor, they don't have loud hailer. So you're the first one to arrive and then you go to front. Because the loud hailer is yours, you start addressing. Because you've hijacked the community protest. We need disciplined fighters. At the center of the revolution is discipline. Discipline in the EFF is not a sideshow. Discipline in the EFF, you don't choose what time to be disciplined. Discipline in the EFF, you don't choose who's speaking to be disciplined. Discipline in the EFF, it doesn't matter who says what, as long as the EFF, you remain disciplined. Not this selective discipline, because I don't like this one, so I can't listen to them. If it's PCT, that's PCT, you listen to them. You don't say, I choose this PCT to listen to. In our region, only send the provincial secretary or a provincial chairperson 
to come and tell us when there's a PCT member, they are giving you the directive of the organization you complain. That's what discipline is about. We don't select, you look at who's coming. If it's an RCT member who doesn't have a car, I don't listen. We listen to this one because it's got the potential of KFC and alcohol. That is leadership. Discipline. Discipline meaning that when the organization issues a directive, the central command team says to you, 2022 is a year of the branch. Let's go and recruit towards one million membership. You do exactly that. If you are seated here and your branch has not met its target, you must know that you are ill-disciplined. So to your secretaries and everyone, delegate, if the secretaries are not here, just send them a WhatsApp and then ask them, what's Meranjani on this one million membership? If they say, no, we've not met our target, you must start knowing who take Papa Pere because I'm one of the ill-disciplined. Because discipline is adhering to the mandates of the revolution. We are building a revolution. Sometimes when we say this is a revolution, it's a suruga. In no time you think we are playing. We issued a directive, the central command team issued a directive when that company called Clicks, they went to come and insult our black women, insult their hair. We said, let's go and close all the Clicks shops here in South Africa. We're just showing the white monopoly capital that we can bring it to its needs any day we decide. We issue that directive. To some of you, you fail to close those clicks because you are not disciplined. You fail to close those clicks. Some of the clicks here in these towns with races, they were open. Because you are not disciplined, you did not launch the branches during the time when you said, go launch a branch. Now when it's time to close clicks, when the commander-in-chief has issued a directive that ground forces of the EFF from Cape to Musina, it's a shutdown. You have found one thing because you're on your own. You have found one thing because those that you were supposed to build this organization, as the constitution is saying that the branch of the EFF must have VT coordinating structures, there were no other members of the EFF on the other VTs. The only branch of the EFF it exists in your VT because the branch of the EFF is amongst you as friends. You don't even ask yourself to say, why we don't even have one fighter from that VT? Then when it comes to the day of elections, you get shocked because you believe in miracles. Because if you are revolutionaries, you believe in science, you would have known that we only exist in this VT. So during the time of election, no one is representing the movement on that side of the world, on that corner of the world. We need to get it right, fighters. It has to come right. It has to come right, otherwise our people, they've given us an opportunity to exist. We exist because our people, they've allowed us to exist. That's why when we go to their homes, they open their doors to listen to us. We must stop being entitled. When that founding assembly said, this liberation movement is going to disappear with time. We need to have an alternative because in the disappearance of this former liberation movement of people in South Africa, they're going to be leaderless. We need to create the leader of society. This revolutionary movement, we never agreed of entitlement. Because there's never been a meeting here in Free State that our people, when they are no longer voting for ANC, Mangaung, automatically they're going to vote for EFF. That's why they are not voting, because we're not speaking to them. We're not speaking to them because we're not organized. We have to be organized. We have to go back and build stronger bridges. We need to understand what is happening, what is expected of us. We need to understand the structures of the EFF as the Second National People's Assembly deliberated and discussed that what should be an ideal branch of the EFF. An ideal branch of the EFF must be led by revolutionary fighters who've got capacity to lead our people and our communities wherever they are. Are you that chairperson? Do our people know that you are a chairperson of the EFF there, in your own world? Sometimes the world is very big. Eh? Do they know in your VD that you are a chairperson of the EFF? Let's leave the world, it might be too big. 
Do they know in your VT that you are the chairperson? Or oh, yeah, it's you and me, your friends, that says no, I'm a chairperson, but the entire VT, they say no, there's no EFF here. Because a chairperson is always upset. Yeah. A chairperson is a coward. A chairperson is lazy. Our chairperson is weak, he's scared, he's never been found on any community activity. Even as a Mwabe, they don't find him. Even if it's a party, they don't find him. Kujali Bola, Allah, or Netball, they don't find him. You can't be found anywhere, but the EFF says the EFF must lead by the all rounder. Are you an all rounder as a leader of the EFF? If they don't know you in your video, okay, maybe it's fine. Do they know you in your own street? That you're a leader of the EFF, they don't know you in your own street. Okay, the street might be too big. Do they know you at home? That you're a chairperson of the EFF, at home. Because some of you, when we do Red Friday, I mean, after Red Friday, when we're tired, we go and meet somewhere in a call and say, chairperson, I'll bring waterman and bread. We want to sit here and start singing revolutionary songs and all of us, and then until your parents, they come coming back from home, or your husbands, or your wives, they come and then they stop, or they fall and stop, ah, Mashal Tabene, now we are EFF. <laughs> your own partner. That's why if we say, let's go and conduct elections, we go to an election with a branch that is launched with 100 members, we get one vote. Because your families, they don't even know that you are leaders of the EFF. Even if we can say, okay, because it looks like you're going to lose elections in this one. Let's go and take elections in your VT, you know you might lose. Let's take your street, you know you might lose. Let's go home. And I call IEC to say, can you bring a ballot box here? We want to vote at home. Yes, fighters start. Not every day you insult us, we start off the branch. How many of you are here? No, it's me, my wife, and my children. Oh, there's five of you. Okay, secret ballot. ANC and EFF. At home, your own house. ANC four votes, one vote EFF. Because even then they don't know that you are a leader of the EFF. And then you say you are an activist. You can't even be an activist at home. Because you are scared. The revolution is not for cowards. The revolution is not for the lazy. The revolution is not for the weak. You must be fearless. You must continue fighting and fighting for our own people. Branches of the EFF, an ideal branch of the EFF. You went to PBAs now. When you finish here, I'm going back to the office and look at all of you who were elected as treasurers. Because the discussion documents in the Second National People's Assembly said the branch of the EFF must have the capacity of mobilizing resources, getting a pass, uh, putting members of the EFF in a bus, give them t-shirts and give them food and transport them to, to attend the activities of the organization, uh, either at a regional level, provincial or national level, without seeking any assistance from the higher structure. Next year we're attending 10, Johannesburg, 9th anniversary. Treasure of a branch, uh, our branch is going to arrive there, or you're going to wait and listen and say, no, we're waiting for the pass from national. <laughs> regional treasure, our branches, because that's what it's saying. That the region must be led by those and the region must have the capacity of transporting members of the EFF to attend venues and attend events of the EFF without seeking assistance from national level. Can you take the fighters in your region as a regional secretary, the whole RCT, without calling the province and say, the hey, province, what are the passes? Where are they coming from? Can the province do that? Can the province take us to celebrate our anniversary without calling the TG and HQ? Are we then the right PCT? Are you a PCT member that after you got elected, you are telling us that You said you are available. Immediately we elect you tomorrow. You must go to that side towards that uh, border of uh, KZN, and Benville, in, in those areas, it's too far. You know, uh, fighters become unemployed. So you are looking for a job, not to be a PCT man. 
So let us tell you now, there are no jobs of being a PCT. So even when every discussion that we are having, even if you told your family that I might be elected as a PCT, I'm available, this poverty at home, it might disappear, it won't. Because job seekers have destroyed this organization. Opportunists have let down this organization. Because we need people available, not officials. The 25th Battalion of the PCT, all of them, they must have the same capacity of serving as us on this program. Can't finish a term that you don't even know this person is a PCT member for four years. How are we going to know you because you're not on the ground? Why not on the ground? It's only home affairs who know you through ID. Ourselves, we don't ask for ID. We ask for groundwork. Are you on the ground? Because that's the only time we know about you. Anything else, it's a by the way. Are we having those kind of leaders? Because we must not accept. We must not accept. We must not accept any excuse of not servicing the revolution. Including your poverty. Some of you are saying, no, you know, I can't uh, go to my deployment because I'm a teacher. So now, because of your selfish interest in protecting your family and your salary, the entire community of Free State must suffer because you cannot save this land because of your job. Why don't you keep your job and allow revolutionaries to save our people? Why don't you keep your job and allow the ground forces to save our people? Why do you feel it's important as a PCT member, now that you've been given the responsibility to go and build the organization so that 2024, we can take over this province and this leadership of the EFF here in the province can create thousands of jobs for people of free state, but we can't do it because we're not selfish, we've got a job. So the rest of us, we must remain unemployed. Because we're not got a job, so the whole organization must come to a standstill. No, keep your job. We must accept some, not all of us can be leaders. You know, there are fighters in a on social media, on Twitter, they are fighters, we know them. Solid, they defend the organization 24 hours. They've never irritated anyone of being a leader. Others have got thousands of followers. They know their position, and they are honest like that to say, no, we are members of the EFF, and our party to defend the organization in this way. So we're not going to go and say we're leaders because we don't have that capacity. Why do you want to be when you know that you don't have that capacity? Why don't you just stay and contribute in that corner where you are? Because it's still a contribution to a revolution. Yeah. But to say you're a leader, you're available, and then you're elected tomorrow, we're told that, no, actually the entire PCT is only officials that are working. The rest of them are unemployed, this one is employed, this one has got this problem, this one is wife, that one is girlfriend, that one is this and this. We're not interested. The only thing that we, an excuse we're going to listen to for not servicing this movement is death only. When they say a fighter has passed away, we accept. That's why he can't go to his deployment. Anything else, we must know that it's a set up position. So fighters were here to deal with those issues. We're here to take reports from the PCT on what we resolved uh, four years later, what has happened, how much work have we built uh, as this province and what is it that we can do to make sure that we build a stronger EFF here in Free State. That's what we are here to do, to discuss about the issues and policies of the EFF on what needs to happen in the Free State. We need to talk about the economy of Free State, which are areas, uh, which are, uh, areas that you can participate in, how is the economy of Free State uh, organized so that when we go to our people, we understand the province. So that you just don't move from here and you go to a place and then you call a community meeting and say, no, 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 we're coming from a conference. Because you don't understand the dynamics and the basics of that word and community where you come from. And then you start saying to them, you know, if you vote for me, I'm nationalizing it. Uh, so that I'm nationalizing this mine. They say, there's no mine. There's no mine here where we are. But there's, a, there's a, an economic activity. So if you understand the terrain, we understand the province. That's what we're going to deal with, to say, on the north and the south, east and west of Free State, what happens? What are the issues that are immediate and long-term? 
without moving away from the policies of the EFF to say these are immediate interventions that the EFF can do to make sure that our people, while we are still fighting a bigger battle of uh, chasing and making sure that we march towards economic freedom in our lifetime, but what happens in our communities? What are the jobs there? What are the factories? The factories here in Mangaung, they've been closed. What is it that the EFF can do to come and open some of these factories that are here? What is it that we need to do in the occupation of land? Some of you, you've got skills now. It can't be that when we talk of occupation of land, we just want to come and do houses. If you want to do houses, there's no problem. But the fighters of a uh, first letter, you went to build a township. Your next project now, you must go and occupy land to build factories for our own fighters to get into business and sustain themselves and work for themselves. That should be your next project. So we build houses now. We are taking that one because this fighter has finished his. Uh, he went to Tibet College. Now we can build a small factory here where he can build windows and doors and everything so that we can start getting into trading. Fighters of Chabu uh, Futsanya and fighters of Lijoli Puto. There are farms there. Once you've occupied those houses, you must not stop there. Because some of you, you have went to school, you understand farming, you are interested in farming, either it's goat farming or cattle farming or chicken farming or sheep farming, but when you occupy, you want to go to houses. Go and occupy land and tell Father Mave that we are interested in doing cattle farming, we are cutting half of this farm and we want the side of the bowl because we don't have money for the bowl. We are getting into cattle farming as the fighters of this thing, as the fighters of this region. As the fighters of this sub region lead our people on immediate delivery, they are there. They just need us to think out of the box. So that's what we need to do. We need to sit here and work and think as we go back and say, in this region, these are immediate and tangible and real issues that we can, we can deal with to solve the problems of our people. Our people, they've got challenges now. They can't wait. Our people, they've got challenges now. We must go and resolve those challenges today. We must not be an organization of long speeches and songs and everything else. We must be an organization of immediate deliverables. Our people, they want land now. Our people, they want jobs now. Our people, they want to have access to education now. We must be able to provide those solutions. Because if we don't do that, is what's going to happen when we went to 2021 and a local government election. Some of you were cancer candidate to even put your posters, the biggest picture you've ever had in your own community we give you. We are a cancer candidate. You're doing door to door, go go uti, adna yo imali ama pilis. Na uti ama pilis an go kati mpeto ama tambo, unga ananga choli panato. I panato turan, and then a cancer candidate of the EFF, I wanna go to Masaki cancer. I'll give you that banana. <laughs> no, we've got a problem here. Abantu, they are speaking in our own communities. We need speak hands. We've got a problem here in our community. We want to vote, but these young people and these ones, they've lost their IDs. Just to pick up a call and call Home Affairs. Home Affairs, come and make sure that the people in my community, they've got IDs. You don't do it. You say, once I'm a counselor, I will come and give you IDs. And then people of Free State, they say to you, let's shake hands and have a deal. Once, you will say you'll give me ideas once you're a cancer. Thank you very much, I accept that deal. I'll vote for you once you're a cancer. Thank you very much.
fighters, the ground forces, the PCT that we elected together in Veno 2018, that's September. The RCTs of Free State, let me salute you and all ground forces. Uh, the provincial leadership that was elected in Velo, I will just highlight and acknowledge the, 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 the officials that I work with them for the past five years and I request them, as I call them, their names just to stand up and salute you, fighters. Fighter Masomula Majaike. Malifane Msimanga Mapola Dupuku Sipati Nanyane Sipati Nanyane She's outside Fighters Rikubaba Dikoloife Mitzile Litraye Udiklosa Rangale Problem Mabonesa Ata Enda Patoa Dikoloife Alone if you know you have packed your car, then go and check it. My police are saying they want to tow those cars. Be very careful. Uh, and all the PCT that were elected and co-opted and those who fill the vacancies who made us to arrive to this day today, your work has been acknowledged. Lee Chris the province of the state, with a lot of challenges. Delegates and all structures of the EFF in Free State, Ragen and the branches and the ground forces of the economic freedom fighters, Musebes Walona, Ruboni, and Erbonica de Results. Rikingamanyatawona, Gilidumeli say, on the third PPA, enter Charles again in Mahau. It is a third PPA, and all our PPAs, the Reditorial Amutin, Wamahau. Initially, it was called the City of Roses, but today is a City of Fisis. So all our PPA, which means there is a need for all of us ground forces to give attention and to grow the EFF. EFF is the is Itengaramutu Wamahau. It just need all of us to put our hands on the deck. We also host the ninth anniversary here in Mangau, and we touch the contribution of the collective and the effort of your of you ground forces in Kabe that rally was not successful. Indeed, are separately more on the really focus to the program of organization. This is the moment of us to reflect and self-introspect fighters and pave a way forward for the organization and for the people of the state. This is always compared by us constantly remembering who are who and what are the EFF stand for and why is the EFF was formed. We know when the EFF was formed, but power at all cost. But we show them it is not about us. It was the issue identifier, against Tom. Rare, but to Africa State, but to South Africa, but to this giant movement before we were, so that by the alternative, because by the Bona, who are none of those organizations that were there, by the Bata Refusella, who are Refumane Le Fati, Rehone Obali Tunjene Ribitan, Le Haye for Banabaruna, Rehone Obali Mahaye for Batuaji Baruna, because but you can't even Ufman and also by our regular fans, Nelly CEO, who no shape or recommend Alka Agarregan, the fat lay. So the EFF Ilata, that is why today, meeting a free state, the Maspalate of Free State, Renalimo, which about today, 
bring an internal call home, Kalibakala Economic Freedom Fighters, and can name them all the municipality where Rebeile Batu, Rabafadita, in our term of office, their main SG is not only more dry, but the more dry, I understand, Rebeile Batu decided to say that the whole territory of the city is Contrary to the fighters, that is what it was contrary to the people because the concept of the we are here for us. The only question, Eric Obanzen, key economic freedom and emancipation that has been ignored by the ruling elite who call themselves the liberators. Karl Marx teach us how the poor dynamics created by capitalism and the relation between the working class. The capitalists are very exploitive and inevitable given a room of class conflicts. Also, he strongly urged that this conflict will follow by, the, by a revolution where capitalism will be collapsed on its knee by the working class, Ilerona, the ground forces, because all of us, Laukabali salary, lead the ground forces, because how you call a Kajenu, salary of Fela Osani, Yairi Tui, Yaobe Mbayona, how Lele wa Musebetin, you go back, Mo Unotuate, Ulofon Lasasa. So Skanana, Ubani Uli, Tender Prime, Yo, Ubonana, Ufi, Habasa Ufi, Uhutla Beck, Tusasa. We saw capitalism as a historic, historical stage that could eventually reach a ceiling to internal contradiction and ultimately be followed by socialism. He believes that the private ownership of the means of, of, of production enriched capitalists at the expense of the workers. And so our belief as this organization called Economic Freedom Fighters in fighting for the economic emancipation for our South African people against racist, colonial, imperialist, and a political economy and a social domination. The state is an integral and pivotal instrument in, to advance the revolution. As the EFF, we have dedicated our lives to, uh, to attain the economic freedom as Africans, as the African National Congress failed this money because they were afraid to hurt their masters. The state is a terrain of a striking which, which, which each is a motive force in advance of the revolution and the champion the interest of its people. One of the sharpest bra bra brains that ever set a feet, Lenin, argued that in the class divided society, the state cannot be neutral. The state should never outsource its responsibility, like Rebona, the NGO, the Bata or the controller, as if we are voted to power. How Robala Unali Helen Susman. How to a unali kada asman something? How to a unali another foundation? Who want to tell us who raise the maraba electua? They think they will just steal banke mata aruna through the challenge because they are not loyal to us. They are loyal to the people that they funded them. If we got checker who those NPO, those NGO, who are the real funders? Ki white people or to go bahua at this man is telling Bosch. By a Zamori today in Mangahu, Christopher of Manali Fats. If I call it a Tamari show, did he say this is
看谁的动漫，跟谁在这买，看谁才能把宝物宝葫芦，就在那一边玩，一次就要收单。We know where we come from. We cannot be a man here. So, as the EFF is to say, we must make sure when those NGOs come to our community, we can get a day, we can have to wear a shabbat, but it's different ways. We must make sure that the third NGO I would do it together. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Because ours is love, so we can't. Thank you. 
can see are we gonna have is the lighting bad if we go here so at least you can see that there's some vibe inside because yeah what are we looking at all right guys there's nothing to even look at over here no but we must we're not here and you are looking at this board this guy from here. it's not even the board i'm worried about Come, let me show you. No, we must show EFF things. Where? Well, you don't That's have what banner. I'm saying. Not put up banners, you Where's know? the banner we have? Oh, we didn't bring a banner from headquarters. So what was going to happen in the media room? Tata. So you know how we're supposed to have a media room? What was going to happen? We just want skies. <laughs> no. No, I've been watching you. Even the fighting the police can be seen on the TV and the stories that are talking as well. Imagine. Oh, the stories from the prisons. 
But remember, he's taller than me. Yes,
3,306 cases of kidnapping. The majority of victims are women. The ratio of rape is common assault between women and men. Every man and rape, even if rape are with, basari ba 20 ba rape two are in every 45 minutes every day. And uh, if they, this thing, they are shocked because they are too bad on basafu mani mosebets. Billion ayau re rekhono iteki sagambeli for free. We can't wait for 2024. Bana baruna bala billion now. We need to challenge or that bill must be i i basu le mani bala mende so that bato ba khono yete zabana babo. It's not a sin. Is it not wrong? But me haba tu abatu sabana babo na because he is a hard. So the bushuku can change the thing how they more boni bato ba seven. But me ba six ba bulawa. Because These are only reported cases, but you can ask yourself how many that are those cases that are not reported. Because a person came to the wall yet, came to the wall and after, Ubani Uku depend on the way now she defends out to the because how sedate, it's also a rock of Mutarisa, how to regulate the joke about to regulate the path. The EFA as a, as a protest movement has been involved in multiple community-led protests along those against GBN. The EFF has been attending court cases throughout the province to ensure the justice is served. There is a critic, the critic that we only attend cases of the prominent people, and which is true. It's not about worry. Kemang Audimu Budlameremu support or need to support all women. Instead of mama. If GPV is reported, regardless of the man, we must support that. This desk, there's a labor desk also fighters that were established in 2020 because of the challenge about Chubanabata, money, the office in then the national took a decision to establish that desk. In the province, that desk was led by the deputy chairperson, Mashamola Majake. In all the regions, are the British chairperson. They were doing well to expose loose support of the victims of the I hope it will continue to support because banally issue of a bribe hard to me about to say the Sebets and the Batubalus are confident to us. And there is wrong if fighters all represent the battle or go to make our challenge. The EFF Labour Desk is not a trade union, you know, does not operate like one. Our desk does not change or does not charge or build people, but to get cases as our rally, we need to bank the challenge in the name of EFF. We need to expose such people. The provincial leadership, because it's an primary rally issue fraud that is, is amounted and is also very high, that is happening amongst everyone in the community. The desk has worked tirelessly since the inception of 2022. 2020, we have received free threats. We have even been served with court and Babang Baramata, the court of law, because Mahua Ayar Twarise. They also divide us. We know we didn't take the money, but if you are not focused, we will end up a believer. The National Labor Desk, under the leadership of Omisake Mwemkalipi, visited Free State and conducted the training in all the regions. And after that training, it really assisted our fighters now probably understanding what is expected from them. And after those, that, that, that workshop, we, we, we started to realize oh, the cases are on the road, 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 the The organizational building of one million membership is also a program that was launched this, this, this year, fighters. We are not a target as a province. They are only to reach one million. And they are reaching that are lacking behind. Usually, Puzwa, Tabo Mofutanyana, Mahao. If I pick up your socks, we are not going to reach your target, your one million, come end of 2020. And you are going to embarrass us. So please, the leadership of those regions, the over care program of action, and the leadership of the province, to assist those regions to make sure who require the target in time because the target is today the number says alone related the warrant. The organization should always come first before our interest. We have established that 
the economic freedom fighters are the only driving force for the economic liberation of Africa. We can therefore never have a situation where the organization is compromised at all costs because of contestation fighters. EFFIP led to do lead the conference. Our enemy is not us within this in this world. Our enemy is a white monopoly capital, not us. We must stop seeing us as enemy, highly benign, different views. We are all members of the EFF. We can't even speak to one another. We take this thing very personal. We put our house at our electoral. You must stop what you are doing. It's wrong. Everyone will have a right to your contest. But it doesn't make us enemies. Fighters. The issue of gatekeeping is also a problem that we need to stop. If a person illiterate a blogger in the words, we don't want them to receive their membership because Ramon Garbato will get a do It must stop also the issue of gatekeeping. Let's allow those fighters who never lead the EFF but not join other parties. But you try to have to ask about the EFF, about join the EFF. Why the Sabbath was the membership? Why? Because we're programming our recruiter one million. That is all we are stuck. We don't grow because Haliba don't receive the membership Sabbath. We will forever advocate for women, whether Manta Bawarata, and we will never be intimidated. Young people and marginalized group to be on the driving force of social and economic transformation. In doing this, it does not mean we should just be propelling whoever for the sake of having a young person or a woman leadership position. Quality is something we need to strive for. The contribution of the women in the growth and the development of the, of the EFF is not a big trampled upon by those who believe women and are beneath them. No one will reduce us as a slogan. These are the roses of the revolution. We are fighters. We join, we feel the former fighters. Are the roses? The only, the only way we are going to have quality membership of women is when we build from the bottom. It's in from top. We need to go to visit and identify women. And those who have potential, allow them to grow. We need a vibrant and active branches that do not only exist for assemblies and elective of leadership. We need 24 uh, leaders that are available to all the time when people they want them. It's in Bashaya, that event. Organizational discipline is now for utmost important in our quest for economic emancipation. Our EFF public representatives and members should not be seen as a replica of the ANC. When they are found in, involved in a corruption activity, which they must be reported, we should always maintain the highest morale and discipline. Be guided by our revolutionary code of, the, code of discipline at all times. And be wary of being found, found wanting does bring the organization into this repute because we are about the power who must come that is getting to the CEO to destroy the organization. Commissars and fellow fighters, within the spirit of public representative, should know what, what their responsibility are and ensure they attend all the council, they, they attend all the council meeting when they are needed. They also attend the committees. Because you have councillors who never attend Section 80 meetings. When you ask a report, Hannah report, how you are a councillor, we are earning every month, you don't attend. And if the chairperson of the portfolio committee does not call that committee, we are not right. We are as corrupt as that person. Because you must force that person, that chairperson of that committee, to call the meeting and who to do it that in writing so that you can't just not give up on the chapter EFF fix us a date. But we are doing that for the whole year with the confusion not attending. 
commissars and fellow fighters, we must make sure we attend that meeting. And you attend the caucus before you go to the council city. And they have deliberated agenda. This is agenda we put in the council. We are left or right. Public representatives should work hand in hand as a deploying with the structures of the economic freedom fighters. This is a council of an super hero and undermine the French. We are steadfast and energetic in consolidating the ground towards the socialist power as we're taking action against the racist and financial sector in this province and the country as entire and the country entire. We declare fighters. And as we conclude, we could like to send our sincere condolences to all those fighters who lost their lives once and the lives of their uh, the, on their lives was, and the lives of their lives was between the period of 2018 to 2022 because we had the members of the PCT, the members of the region, the councillors, the branches, Balabashokahala in our term of office. Their contribution we must never forget them. We must always salute them. May their soul rest in peace. We'd like to show appreciation to the economic freedom fighters of Lesotho who just had their election in 2022. The organization in Lesotho is growing, which is something that also we need also to support them. I don't think we did very well to support them. That is why Pasahona Obama Emun Gerwabaki. If we never support them, Kabatu, Ernatiban, the relative Zabona, Rabatu Sara Emma Miedin. Raba two salmon in Spain. Raba two salmon in Monza. Raba Emma di Bota gave to the Gabra South Africa. Who Raba South Africa Raba Joreka. Raba Joseph Scaliba the EFF in the Soto. Gabe EFF is Abamo in the Our support and the unity of EFF across the continent are paramount important to us. It is the only way we will attain the United Africa, Ella Batua Gibonda Daruna, Ella Melaki Commander in Chief. Amanda, thank you very much. to come and present the organizational report. We are against time fighters. We are straight going to organizational report. Amanda, that's why you here are there. Amanda, my boy. Africa, my boy, no makubios, otiyas, osiyas, no makubios. Oh, <laughs> 
tumale mas tumale mas ketunga Manifesto adopted at its first National Assembly that was held in 26-27 of July in 2022 uh, under the theme What is to be done? In, 20, in 2013, under the theme What is to be done? Our founding manifesto states that EFF contests political power in order to capture state and then transform the economy to total emancipation of black South Africans, especially Africans. It's saddening to witness that, that 28 years of political freedom have not borne much significance to the people of Free State in South Africa. This is the report of Provincial Command Team to the Fed Provincial People's Assembly of the Economic Freedom Fighters, covering four-year period of the second piece, uh, provincial people's assembly. The report is presented to the third PPA today to account on the work done, including highlighting accomplishments and challenges encountered, encountered and suggest solutions going forward. We have assembled here today to account on you, delegates of the third uh, provincial people's assembly and the people of Free State on the mandate that was given in 2018. The PPA is an elective conference of the EFF, which amongst other things, adopt the resolutions and will guide politics and programs of the EFF in the province. Not so long ago, 8th and the 9th September 2018, we gathered in a similar fashion under similar arrangements at Mvelo Lodge in Plumfonden to elect second provincial leadership of the Free State, which is, was tasked with a huge responsibility of building vibrant, strong organization, fighting corruption, championing the interest of people of Free State, growing the organization, subsequently dethroning the corrupt ANC out of power. We remain unapologetic about the idea of land expropriation for compensation, the total economic emancipation of our people. Moreover, our conviction remains the same that state custodianship of the land will benefit um, the landless and the poorest sector of South African population. It remains sad reality that the ruling party has failed and continue to fail to reimagine local government and municipalities 
for post-apartheid South Africa. Our municipalities are riddled with corruption and there are no consequences as official and municipal officials are not answerable to citizens. The, dis the dysfunctional state of free state municipalities is alarming. While individuals continue to milk and pocket the resources meant for infrastructural development, improving the better and uh, improvement of better uh, livelihoods of the people of the state. 28 years into democracy, our communities continue to struggle with basic services like electricity, water supply, under the leadership of the ANC. We are pleased to report to the enemies of progress, doomsayers, that what we they anticipated has remained nothing but a myth. Maybe it is about time that we wake, they wake up from friends and whisper, and we wake up from friends and whisper into their ears that the EFF is still around, that we are here to stay. They said we are still born and we will not exist beyond five years. To their surprise, the mighty vagrant uh, of the people is still intact, continues to grow like a pop up tree. The EFF remains the only hope for the South African society and its politics. In this regard, it, is, it has continued to advance and to advance change and economic transformation of the, uh, for the conditions of the poorest, the downtrodden, forgotten, marginalized people of our communities through seven non-negotiable cardinal pillars. It is important to note that during 2019, the focus of the provincial command team was on the national and provincial elections, which took place on the 8th of May on, of, the, of that year. This was because immediately after the second provincial people's assembly, we had to immediately commence with preparations of national and provincial elections to ensure that on the 8th of May, the 8th of May finds us with a very oiled machine, election, ele elections machine, machinery, and ready for power contestation. It is also imperative to note that during the period of 2020, 2021, and 2022, the organization was preoccupied with organizational endeavors to adapt to new strainers environment imposed on us by COVID-19 lockdown regulations, which demanded of us to reduce physical contact with not only our entire membership, but entire population of our province. We had to strike balance fighters between life of the EFF and that of its members. As COVID-19 pandemic is a life-threatening disease, which depends on human physical contact for its survival. At some point, the organization for its visibility on the ground had to depend entirely on public representatives who were doing oversight under risky conditions. Having observed material conditions and the need to adapt to COVID-19, the organization has undergone recruitment drives with the intentions of reviving and building the organization from where we left off in 2020 March. We thank you for your patience and up to this hour to receive the report. The, the report will cover the will, ta, will cover term of provincial command team under the following uh, headings and subheadings. Provincial command team. Provincial command team is composed of collective and duly elected leadership of the organization in the province. These are democratic structures which execute the organizational line, implement directives of the organization, provide credible and reliable leadership to the people. These structures are guided by central command team led by President uh, the Commander in Chief, President Julius Malem, together with convener of deployees, Commissar Kuaba Madom, and other CCT deployees here in Free State, Commissar Akotichkadi, Commissar Yomisayaku, 
Commissar at Nazir Policy. Second Provincial People's Assembly directly elected the following officials. Commissar Mandi Sama Kesim, Commissar Samdu Simanga, Fighter Mashongla Majake, Fighter Mapure Dipoko, Fighter eh, Sipati Nanyan. Additional members elected to Second Provincial People's Assembly uh, as written below. Accordingly, the Second Provincial People's Assembly was constituted by 21 elected members. Owing to resignations and members missing more than three consecutive meetings, automatically removed uh, from the PCT. The PCT was left with few vacancies which then necessitated reinforcement of the provincial command team structures. The following fighters resigned. Mr. Hotom Rapela, a fighter Morena Salman. It must be noted that Mr. Hotom Rapela, after resigning, decided to leave organization and rejoin the corrupt African National Congress. The organization accepted all resignations. Furthermore, the organization, for, uh, uh, the following fighters forfeited their positions in the provincial command team due to abscondment. Fighter Dashi Ajaji, Fighter Pumelele Kanyi, Fighter Matsidiso Musia, Fighter Jinet Nobu. It is also imperative to highlight that various uh, interventions were made to accommodate the above fighters, including redeployment to their area near to their respective locations. In terms of section 20, a subsection 4 and 5 of the Constitution of the Economic Freedom Fighters, the PCT shall have the right to replace four members who leave the PCT due to their expulsion, resignation over the period of four year term. Furthermore, the PCT shall have the right to co-opt to four additional members for whatever reasons proposed in its four year term. It was in line with these con constitutional provisions that the leadership of province saw it befitting to co opt fighters to fill vacancies which existed within the PCT. As at this third PPA, the following uh, co option and replacements were made. Fighter Tabo Mukwaishi was co-opted 2021. Fighter Edi Olia uh, was replacing, was a replacement in 2021. Fighter Aretham Jombe in 2022 was co-opted. Fighter Sharon Gongota in 2022 also was uh, taken into the PCTU uh, to clarify a replacement fighter Mapasaka Mdaung in 2022 co option, fighter Zolile Mashika co option, fighter Tebo Swaisa 2022 replacement. So, never said it is that loss of constitution over Guinea. The organization only lost one co opted PCT member on account of death, being fighter AD Golia, who passed away May. 2021, may his soul rest in peace. In total, the second PCT lost seven directly elected PCT members of, for various reasons alluded above. As, as at this third provincial people's assembly, three state PCT is as follows. I can know I to so I can Twenty, between 2018 and 2022, the provincial command team convened the three meetings 
these meetings were a combination of physical and virtual gatherings, as well as all that, as well as we all know that the corona pandemic entirely altered normal way of doing things. With the provincial offices remaining in Brunfonte, the PCT continued uh, to guide lower structures, including disseminating central command team and war council decisions. Again, we are coordinating structure, so we are disseminating. The reinforcement of provincial command team remains stable and constitutionally compliant. With 21, like, uh, 21 active members, after coaching replacement emanating from resignations, members being removed, missing more than three consecutive removal without approval. The elected provincial command team, together with regional chairs and secretaries, student command, provincial chair and secretary, makes up the, the provincial command team. The, FEF, the EFF student command is represented in the PCT by its provincial chair, fighter and governor Slepe, and provincial secretary, fighter Mohaw Sehen, respectively. Prior to second people's uh, student assembly, the EFF student command in the province was represented by fighter Jerry Toka and fighter Tapero Williams, respectively, uh, in the provincial command as a as ex official members. Provincial coordinating command has met 10 times uh, under, in, in the, under peer of the review. The provincial com, uh, com, uh, coordinating command has composition of six members elected from provincial command team together with the officials in the province, the chairperson of student command who sits in the PCC meetings on an ex officio status. In total, the PCC is made up of 12 members. Composition remains in check. The provincial command is responsible for day-to-day -day organizational activities, ensuring proper coordinating implementation of economic freedom fighters and decisions at the provincial level. PCC is composed of the following commissars and fighters. PCT committees. In addition to official PCT, as the following key departments committees headed by the PCT members. It's a Ladibona Gaufi. 2.4 officials. The officials consistently meet uh, to process organizational meeting matters brought to their attention and continuously push for implementation of organizational resolutions. In the under period review, officials in the province engaging in various activities, all activities were in line with the organizational mandate. The officials were always at the forefront of organizational program, leading by example with ground forces and the picket lines. The office of the provincial chairperson. The provincial chairperson, the, the provincial chairperson plays integral, in, integral role in articulating, defending the organizational view on broad range of matters at the provincial level. Furthermore, the provincial chairperson is a political head of, and the leader of the organizational activities in the province. The provincial chairperson also heads the provincial uh, governance task unit, the GTU all governance related issues in the provincial office in the province in the province and she has she has to ensure that there's a synergy from national and all the way to the provincial local level of the governance the second provincial people's assembly of the free state elected commissar mandi samadisini as the provincial chairperson the provincial chairperson deployed in first letter where she is deployed with fighter Biki Mutlum, fighter Dao Muletan, Muletan Muletan, Murana Muletan, fighter Letoni Sotet. All deployees honored their deployment report as required. Provincial chairperson continued to chair all meetings of the provincial command team, the provincial community command, the 
the commencement of every VCT meeting, the provincial chairperson was not has not failed to provide political direction. All engagements with it and reply to inputs and organization. During the provincial and local government elections, provincial chairperson together with the collective of the province embarked on the grassroots campaigns as the as the essential ground forces of the organization. These programs were characterized by aggressive door-to-door -door community meetings, rallies, extensive community and provincial media engagement. Provincial chairperson successfully led various organizational activity, activities, including court appearance, service delivery matches across province to voice out discontent on the pro, on the people on behalf of the people of Free State to those who are in power. On the 22nd of August, provincial chairperson visited a uh, combined school in Vergete Flay, Masilonyana to donate shoes to destitute people. Moreover, the office of the provincial chairperson ensured that all attendees of Women's Day program that was held in Moeman and Makwat received gifts as token of appreciation to all mothers and women who raised, who raised activists and continues to sustain our black communities. In addition, provincial chairperson played an active role in mobilization and organizing ninth anniversary that was held in Free State on the 30th of July 2022. The following committees are headed by provincial chairperson, media and communication, political education, and account of work done is as follows. Media and, and communication, but communication department in the Free State is headed by provincial chairperson. In the office of the provincial chairperson, we have media licensing officer, fighter, patient staff. Second Provincial People's Assembly was held in Ventersberg. A, a second Provincial Clean and Soul of Free State. Second Provincial Clean and of Free State that was held in Ventersberg on the 5th of February 2022. A result on other things, on amongst other things that branches, regions, and province must create uh, accounts and all of social media platforms to inform and clarify pro and promote issues of organization. In responding to that, to that call, provincial media communications department created a TikTok account on behalf of the province. The communication department was covered by was has covered various organizational programs and activities including Black Lives Matters, Kids Protest, Seneca Rally. Moreover, the department continues to facilitate interviews of commissars fighters to participate on behalf of organization. Below is a summary of a, a programs activities covered by communications department from August 2019 to 2022 November. The Office of the Provincial Chairperson has released statement, total number of statements 44, uh, from August up until today, which were all shared among, uh, on our social media platform to all media houses in the province. Media engagements. Communication department coordinated mentioned interview on various issues within our province and organization since uh, August 2019. It's a more present. On the 30th of August 2021, all systems were set. The communications office was responsible for live streaming the press that was addressed by provincial chairperson, Commissioner Mandisa. Uh, Provincial office in Mfonte. Presser was covered by three media houses SABC, OFM, Free State Online, and the CDFM. 
social media platforms kitse we he di platform tsa rona tsa social media eh followers tsa rona di join all different accounts eh fighters eh mo ta o re rona jolo ka ma fighter ka mira re participate re participate a holo mo ntho tsa di tsa tsa social media political education in the period under review there has been four political education programs organized run by political education committee led by the chairperson the provincial chairperson continued to advocate for women children to offer unwavering support to all victims of gender based violence across the province provincial chairperson continues to play an active role in mass recruitment membership towards 1 million recruitment drive provincial deputy chairperson uh, provincial deputy chairperson together with provincial chairperson constitute office of provincial chairperson in the province amongst other tasks and roles he assists the chairperson whenever uh, such assistance is required and deputized in absence of the provincial chairperson the second provincial people's assembly elected fighter matomula majake is deputy uh, provincial chairperson Deputy Provincial Chairperson is the head of a political, a provincial disciplinary committee in the province, with governance being in the office of the provincial chairperson. The deputy chairperson is, a, is the chief whip of organization in the provincial legislature. The deputy chairperson is, the, is also a heavy labor desk in the province. The provincial deputy chairperson is deployed in Karib, where he is deployed with fight and basin. Hey, Charlie and fighter Makosini Chabang. All deployees honor their, honor their deployment report as required. As the custodian of discipline in the province, the deputy provincial chairperson continues to ensure that all fighters who conduct themselves in line with all fighters who conduct themselves in line with the code of conduct and revolutionary discipline, that those who act contrary violate. And or violates the constitution of the EFF are punished accordingly. In addition, the provincial deputy chairperson played an active role in the mobilization and organizing of 9th anniversary that was held in Free State 30th July 2022. The provincial deputy chairperson continues to play an active role in mass recruitment of the organization towards one million membership target. The office of the provincial secretary. <laughs> The provincial, the provincial secretary, so office is composed of the provincial secretary and deputy provincial secretary. The provincial secretary is Commissar Malfan Simanga, as elected by Secretary of the Provincial People's Assembly and continues to be the head of administration in the province. The provincial secretary continues to communicate all decisions from central command team through Secretary General's office for processing. Furthermore, the provincial secretary plays a key role in oversight and record keeping in the provincial office. The provincial secretary's office continues to function as mandated by the constitution to ensure that the work of the organic of the EFF is undertaken daily. The office of the the office is a, 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 the office administered by provincial secretary deals with administrative issues inclusive of membership management, correspondence, monitoring of general work of the organization. The provincial secretary has convened secretariat meetings with secretaries of the region to ensure administrative the organization continues to be the vanguard of our people. These meetings ensure that the central command team or council and provincial command team, provincial coordinating command decisions are communicated well understood by regions in the province. Provincial secretariat office continues to coordinate and monitor one million membership recruitment program of the organization in the province to ensure that the set target is reached or before the December 2022. Moreover, the Office of the Provincial Secretary continues to monitor the process of membership capturing across the province to ensure that regions do, through their secretary's report, submit captured membership. The Provincial Secretary is responsible for legal matters in the province. With legal matters being administered by provincial secretary, provincial secretary continue to 
make a request for legal assistance on behalf of fighters and students who are undergoing court processes for cases relating to suspension, court interdict, unlawful arrest, unlawful evictions. All these requests were made through the Office of the Secretary General, Commissioner Marshal Zami, who always responded promptly and showed that such assistance was received. Provincial Secretary opened a number of cases against corrupt ANC officials in the province and further intervened in various cases that were brought to his attention. These cases include a murder case of a black African male who was beaten to death by a white scrapyard owner in Paris. The murder case involving three members of Mabizela family who were brutally killed by a white farmer. Cases involving a white farmer who tracked a black, black people with a bike in Kronstadt. We are pleased to report that intervention of provincial security led to arrest of scrapyard owner in Bar of Paris, Mabizela family case being reviewed. This was, was after National Prosecuting of, uh, Authority had refused to entertain the matter out of the Afrocide family, claiming that the white fellow acted in, in self-defense. It is also worth noting that white farmer of Kronstadt was incarcerated for three weeks after the intervention of Provincial Secretary. Furthermore, the Provincial Secretary lodged a case with the Office of Public Protector against the Premier of Free State who was found to be trying to influence the uh, administration of the department to award tender to one of the uh, colonies without following due processes. A similar case was lodged with Office of the Public Protector against the President of the Republic of South Africa who did not act in line with Section 217 of the Constitution uh, to acquire Shanduga tender. This is despite Section uh, 217 explicitly affirming that when an organ of state contracts for goods and says it must do so in accordance with principles of fairness, equitability, transparency, and competitiveness, cost effectiveness. Provincial Secretary, together with the leadership collective of the province, continues to, to be at the forefront of the farm workers' struggle in, the, in trying to ensure that justice is served on those who were previously wronged and fairly treated by the biased criminal justice system which favored the farm, the farm owners. It was, of, it was the Office of the Provincial Secretary which has ensured that the Provincial Commissioner of Police Commissioner attempts to ensure affect, affecting, affected farmer and farm tenants and meeting uh, of the agreement. Emanating from this meeting were open cases of perpetrators, subs officials who were involved in obstructing justice. Provincial Secretary has since escalated the matter involved, involved stakeholders, role players such as Free State Human Rights Commission, which is fully committed to conduct investigation regarding the livelihoods of the farm dwellers and labor tenants. There's inquiry fighters around that issue. In attempts to expose and uproot corruption, for the provincial secretary opened a case of alleged corruption against the Department of Roads, Police Roads and Transport, which continues to misuse uh, taxpayers' money plantedly. This case is ongoing. Furthermore, the provincial secretary, working together with Police Department and Environmental Affairs, embarked, embarked on oversight inspection to check and remove all expired food from tax shops, well-known uh, food outlets, including spas, shop, right, shoppies, to mention few. This operation took place in Umuate, local municipality, for May 2020, which was a success. Moreover, the provincial secretary was also actively involved in police inquiries, inquiries regarding stock theft in free state farms, where on one of the occasions, he was accompanied, accompanied by provincial police commissioner to Tabuk Futanyan, where the oversight investigation were ferrant. We can confirm that inquiries in question are, are concluded that we are awaiting the outcomes of the report. On the 16th February 2022, the provincial secretary visited families patients 
of asbestos-related illness in Mkhaka Prostat to monitor further, to, uh, to monitor their conditions and offer moral support. A provincial secretary engaged in soup kitchen program between 2021, uh, 21, 20, uh, 20, uh, 21, 22, July 2022, where elderly and patients received bro uh, bread and what what in that. Uh, let me just jump those things. The provincial, uh, during his term of office, provincial secretary donated school shoes in Tabomu Futsanyan in Ketuan, Shabeng, sub region respective. In another instance, provincial secretary, together with fighters, fighter at Wani Sote at City, managed to fundraise 70 pairs of shoes, or tightest shoes, uh, school shoes, and donated them to the NSV. Provincial Secretary secured <laughs> Provincial Secretary secured spon uh, sp uh, se Provincial Secretary secured sponsorship for centers for center he adopted in Tekiso Orphanage School, which saw all mutual donating washing machine, microwave. 420 liters of paint, school uniforms, sneakers, food and blankets, worth of 80,000 to 28 uh, children in Smithfield. <laughs> the provincial secretary is deployed in Tabum Futsanyan, where he's deployed with fighter Jomo Kuno, Pakima Fojani, Kebo Swaisa, fighter Aratam Tombe. All deployees honor their deployments and report as required. Provincial Secretary also heads uh, the Committee of Elections campaign on behalf of the province in the turn in the turn up of second uh, provincial command team. The provincial the province participated in provincial elections, local government elections, by elections, which later will be discussed in the report. In addition, provincial secretary played a key role in mobilization organizing of the ninth anniversary which was held in Plumbonde. Provincial Secretary continues to play an active role in mass recruitment of membership towards a one million membership. The Deputy Secretary, the Office of the Deputy, Deputy Secretary, the, Deputy, the Provincial Deputy Secretary is, office is occupied by fighter Makaule Dipoko, who's charged with responsibility to deputize the provincial secretary, overseeing provincial office personnel. Furthermore, the deputy provincial secretary administered secretariat meetings whenever the provincial secretary was engaged with other organizational work. Uh, Provincial Secretary, but the Deputy Provincial Secretary was the Provincial Secretary deployed uh, during that program of ninth anniversary. Uh, what clustered the program into those four clusters, and the, the cluster of uh, fighter Mapeule Dipoko was was constituting of what nine or ten, what eleven, what twelve, what forty six, what fifty one during preparatory stage. You would remember we had a very massive meeting in Ward 51. So the Provincial Deputy Secretary, together with a leadership collective of the province, assisted fighters transport whenever there were organizational activities. The Provincial Deputy Secretary is deployed in Jolie Puzwa, where he is deployed with fighter Baba Sibulao, fighter Sharon Kongota, fighter Baba Lo, Kangkhon. All deployees honor their deployment report as required. In addition, the Deputy Provincial Secretary played an active role in coordination mobilization of the 9th anniversary that was held in Free State. Deputy Provincial Secretary continues to play an active role in the recruitment of membership towards 1 million membership. Provincial Treasurer, the Provincial Treasurer is Fighter Sipati Nanyani and is responsible for finance and fundraising and organizational assets at the provincial level. In, in under a uh, period review, provincial treasurer's office has fundraised to ensure that 
Uh, there are refreshments, water for fighters whenever there are Red Fridays uh, in an area of deployment. Moreover, the provincial treasurer ensured that GPV desk continues to function for the duration that fighter Vicky Mutom was away due to illness. There was a case of a lady who was physically assaulted by a boyfriend in Portland, which was also attended by the provincial treasurer in support of the victim. In one of the instances, the provincial treasurer accompanied a fighter uh, toward eight in Bloemfontein to the police station to apply for protection order against an abusive husband who had just been released on bail uh, from police custody. The Office of Provincial Treasurer was actively involved in all activities in preparatory stage, in an inter-preparatory stage leading to the ninth anniversary of the EFF. These activities included mass mobilization, postering, pre-birth celebration, we could show all age center, transport coordination amongst others. Provincial Treasurer is deployed in Magawum where she is deployed with fighters. Mukwaishi, Fighter Mapaseka Mdaum, Fighter Zulle Mashika, Tavo Mashia. All these deployees honor their deployment required as, as, as required. Provincial Treasurer, together with the leadership collective of the province, played an active role in organizing, coordinating the transport for one million membership. Furthermore, the Provincial Treasurer continues to play an active role towards mobilization. That I get the award to you. And then we move to Central Command Team deployees. Former uh, Treasurer General Commissar Dan Mateis was deployed, was officially deployed in Free State at the beginning of our second term, our second uh, National People's Assembly. All other CCT deployees to the province prior to amendment of deployment were Commissar Mabatu, Mukause, Commissar Shelim Hotu, uh, Commissar Tendim Sani, Commissar Dogozo Shonyani, uh, Commissar Nazir Paulson. There was a time where the then Treasurer General Commissar Dian Mateis was replaced by Commissar Kodrich Gadi, former Secretary General. Then the Deputy President, Commissar Floyd Shiva, respectively as officials deployed to our province. Our province is large, we have a number of officials. Central Command Team deployees to Free State respectively executed their mandate in line with CCT and war council decisions. This included attending to their area of deployment, monitoring, <coughs> guiding the province region they were deployed to, ensuring that there is proper implementation of CCT and VCT resolution, as well as management of day-to-day -day functions of the province. We must really appreciate their contribution because they are forever in free state. Uh, 